Geometry, investigating the angle in a semicircle. We'll start in geometry and with a file, new, OK. And I'm going to draw a circle with a diameter. Where are we over here? Uh, if you haven't done this before, just check the previous video, 740. I'll work fairly quickly here to do this construction. So I've got myself a circle. I'm going to put in a chord here and head off to the measurement toolbar and make the distance between those two zero. So now I've got myself a diameter through the center of the circle and return uh, to finish off, tap on to here and to here and D to C. So I've basically constructed a uh, triangle in a semicircle here. Next job is to attach a few angles to this diagram. So by choosing these two, oops, I should have gone to the select tool first. I'm going to choose these two sides and tap on draw attached angle. And ClassPad measures the angle and shows it on the diagram. Now I'm going to tap off and choose these two sides, uh, draw attached angle. And finally tap off and tap onto these two sides and draw attached angle. So we've got um, the three angles. Now what's interesting here is if we start moving D around the edge of our circle here, these two angles are changing, but what do you notice about the angle in the semicircle here? Um, we'll look at a couple of ways of animating this in videos 781 and 782, but they do involve slightly more advanced skills, but not that much, so you might want to take a look at that. We can also save this if you wanted to. Remember there's File, Save, and we could save a copy of um, this angle in a semicircle demonstration. I won't bother today.